Welcome back to part three. We are putting the engine in today. We are hopefully going to get it running this afternoon. Um, I'll show you around the shit box. Here she is. Completely standard, pretty much. Stock suspension, stock wheels. She's a bit battered. She's a bit battered. Got a few disgusting scrapes, but we don't care about that. The worst part is it's actually been sat around the back in our compound for over 12 months, so there's some, there's some growth in there. Yeah, it's a bit gross. It's a bit gross. But we'll rip all that out. Don't need that extra weight, race car. So we're gonna just Get the engine mounts in, we've got some stiffer engine mounts and Powerflex inserts to put in and then we'll swing her in, hopefully get her plumbed in and running. Progress update, we've got engine in, bolted in, we've got all the hard mounts on and they are a bit stiff. Um, we've got the wastegate all plumbed in, we've got the coolant feed and return. Returns there, return runs over there, all nice and heat sleeved, wastegate is tilted. We'll tilt it either way. We are going to put the screamer uh, Scream down. down to the floor as well. Screamer up, fits both but ways. Just for now, screamer out the bonnet, obviously. Nearly there. We are ready to crank her over now. We've got spark plugs out, injectors unplugged. Uh, we're going to spin it over. We've got the oil pressure gauge fitted. We're just going to spin it over till we've got some oil pressure. Then we're going to get everything fitted, fire it up. Okay, go. In. So we are ready to go. Induction pipes on, we've got spark plugs back in, core packs in, injectors are plugged back in. Go on then Ash. So we'll check the oil levels, make sure we've got no immediate leaks. And then we've got to do the cam bedding procedure, which is like 20 minutes, two and a half hours an RPM or something. And then we'll chuck it on the rollers and get a run in. Happy days. Here she is, ready to go. Obviously we put the screamer out of the bonnet, but we are ready to go. Uh, it is drivable. So first drive, Ash is gonna chuck it on the dyno and get it run in. Engine's now all run in, so we did it on the rollers. We just loaded up lots of light load, light pulls, um, same as we do all our engine builds. 
So that's all running now. We've just, just got it MOT'd. Um, Ash is now just gonna finish up the methanol and then we're on to tuning. Here is the temporary mounting uh, cable ties. We are just waiting for a straight fitting on that. Um, but the pump is mounted. We're just gonna finish off running the power to that. We head over to the front. The injectors are still obviously there. We've got the solenoid in, got the wiring plumbed in. We've actually managed to run it really neatly through the old symposia, so that's sweet. We've got, yeah, wow. Well, we're basically there to be fair. We did just have to crush the screamer a little just so it hopefully doesn't smash the windscreen, but yeah. Other than that, we are nearly ready to tune. We have just done the first run on the base files, so that's 0% wastegate duty. Just so we know everything's plumbed in right, the car can handle it, and it's running sweet. We've got air fires are bang on, and we are <laughs> buzzing with the power. So this is one bar of boost, wastegate duty. We've got 302 horsepower. Um, so yeah, that's one bar of boost. So we've got plenty, of, plenty to go on that. Um, we're also pretty happy with all so the we're getting about one bar by 4200 rpm which isn't too bad the old wuhan war whistle is uh working well for now we're gonna wind some boost in it wind some timing in it uh we haven't actually finished the meth yet we couldn't really wait it's it's like eight o'clock now we just couldn't really wait we wanted to see see what it was doing so we'll probably get the meth tidied up tomorrow we've got some other jobs on the diner we'll get the meth tidied up in the morning and jump back on tuning tomorrow afternoon hopefully we've now got some wastegate duty in there we're at 25 percent and she's flying now 25 percent duty has given us 1.2 bar and 336 horsepower so step it up a bit more and see how we see where we get to Just for reference as well, that's the last three uh, boost duty maps that we've done. So you've got the red line is gate pressure, so 0%. The blue line was 25% at 1.2 bar. And the orange line is the 45% we just jumped to uh, at 1.6 bar. So we'll just wait until, uh, waiting for the latest file to flash on and we'll run it again. We've now got a 55% wastegate duty map loaded on. We're going up in small increments because we're kind of expecting the stock fuel system or the stock fuel pump somewhere to run out of flow, probably the higher pressure pump to just run out of flow. Um, so yeah, we're only stepping up in 10% increments at the minute. Uh, see how we go on. As we predicted, we're out of fuel. Uh, the rail pressure is just dropping off a cliff now. Um, we That bumped it right up to 1.8 bar. Didn't really make much extra power top end. We're still at like 375. Um, we're just gonna turn the MEF on and see if it'll take some more ignition time in, uh, see if it kind of recovers that. Um, but yeah, see how it goes. The water MEF kit is now turned on. Uh, we haven't made any adjustments to the map yet. We're just gonna, we were just checking it works. It's definitely working now. So we are gonna add some more ignition timing in and hopefully the MEF will, uh, with the MEF on, it will lap that up. So we finished up the tune on the Fezzi now. We ended up only running this at 1.75 bar because we were having some pretty major issues with a high pressure fuel pump, but we're still pretty buzzing with 398 horsepower. We were only planning on uh, making 400 on this turbo for now. We did wonder whether the fuel system was gonna cope, but it looks like it's a bit on the edge. The high pressure fuel pump is basically just miles away from its demand now. So, if you look on the uh, log screen here, the green line is the requested fuel rail pressure and the red line is where we're actually at. So as you can see, we're miles off from that. 
the high pressure fuel pump that was on this did just come off the blown engine that we rebuilt anyway so we might just put a brand new genuine Ford one on for now uh, we have got a bigger turbo coming in a few months and we're going to run an auxiliary fueling setup so we can push this thing even harder with a genuine Garrett this time not just a Chinese one so we're buzzing with this we're gonna get out get some miles on the car and yeah we're gonna we've got a ton of other projects that we're going to be doing videos of in the meantime the Fiesta is going to take a bit of a back seat so keep an eye on our channel please subscribe and we will be back very soon with some other builds that we're doing